Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this sample, I'm going to show you some uh, ways to work on a part using some interesting constraint methodologies. In fact, what we want to do is we want to put a little spherical dimple on the radius of a cylinder. Okay? And we want to make it so that we can play around with its location freely. So let's, let's get started. Uh, first of all, I am in Top Solid 7.6. This version will be available uh, very, very soon. Uh, so here we're going to go to the Shape tab. And I'm just going to start by creating my cylinder. Okay, and I'm not going to really be too concerned about the size of the cylinder or the height of it. Uh, three by three, why not? Perfect. And maybe I'll make this a little bit transparent so we can see a little bit more easily what we're going to work on. From here, what I'd like to do is I'm going to go ahead into my 3D sketch and I'm going to create a point on shape. Point on shape is new inside of Top Solid 7.6. And in fact, it automatically constrains itself to whatever face you select. So for example, you can see it's on that face there and I can drag it over here and it stays in reference to that face. Very cool. Now, from here, maybe what we want to do is create a couple of axes. So I'll go to Tools and I'm going to start by just creating a simple axis like that. And I'm going to do an axis by two points. And my first point is going to be that point there and my next is going to be a projected point of this point to that axis because I want a perpendicular projection here. And like that I'll validate. And now we have that axis. And I could have done this a number of ways. I could have done it as a sketch but by using axes I've created a, a lot of freedom. And here's what I mean. I can move this point around and those axes will all of course update. Now where are we going with this? Well, let's have a look. I'm going to go back to shape. I'll go to here and I'm going to go to sphere. In sphere, I want to put a one inch sphere at an offset point. Why not? From that point there, relative to that axis. And I'll say 450, eh, you know what, let's go 475. Okay, and we can modify that later, whatever. And finally, what I'm going to do is do a Boolean operation. I want to subtract from this that, validate, and I now have my dimple. And a lot of people are saying, you know what, that seems like a lot of work to put a little dimple in the part. And, you know, it is, but maybe we put all that work to play because we're not sure where this dimple is going to be on this face yet. And you can see that I can just drag this around and everything dynamically updates. So it gives you maybe a little bit more freedom to control your specific task at hand. And again, this is just a sample of being creative inside of Top Solid 7.